perspective uh, and it's a torso starting from below. I recently did one from above as well uh, and this one is a little from behind so there's some slight caboose but nothing too terrible. Um, so what you're seeing here is the pencil layer. I've talked about that in the past uh, and if you notice from perspective um, objects look larger than they actually are so you have to draw them as they appear. For example the fist there looks larger than the uh, model's head because it's closer so if you've never done drawing before, one of the challenges is to draw something as you see it and not as you know it to be, because we know that hands are actually smaller than hands. I had a lot of difficulty with the face on this one, especially coming from a downward angle, so you'll see me uh, monkeying with that a lot. Um, I'll have an idea of what I want for a face, but then uh, once it goes down, satisfied with it and I will uh, redo it. I even went so far as to ink this one until I decided to change the face. There you can see I've um, uh, erased the face there. Lately I've been doing a soft line uh, and then going over it with a thicker uh, ink brush. So what I did there was I just overdid the layer and then um, merged it so it became one drawing again. As you can see, I'm still messing with the face. That was option two that I didn't like and I got rid of that pretty quick. It's hard when you are encountering a face that's not directly um, facing you. If it's from the perspective, then it can be challenging. I think this is the one I eventually settled on there and uh, made me happy, so I kept that one there. Uh, a little more Disney than I expected, but that's okay. Doing a little fixing there. There was a lot of alteration that went into this drawing. Sometimes you feel the muse and you can just uh, crack it out on the first try. This one, I had to go back and change things that I was not happy with. I've been doing these uh, series in reds and pinks. There's another artist I've talked about before named Silver Jow. Uh, you can check him out on uh, Tumblr or on Instagram. And uh, he works in blues, so I figured that I would work in red just to be a little different. Although he does some amazing figure study. If you get a chance, check him out. Also, if you want to check out my work, uh, it's on Instagram and Tumblr as well, under Tumbled Heroes. Pretty easy to find. If you find a uh, superhero mask, you found me. And I'm adding in highlights to create depth. Uh, this was a fun one to shade, and I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I do love the shadow. I really think it helps with the perspective a lot. And then we'll get a scan of the whole picture there throwing a fun little background. Now if you've been watching the Olympics, you know who this guy is. Uh, his name is Pita, and he was the a flag bearer for Tonga, the very greasy, attractive flag bearer from Tonga. And I thought it'd be fun to do a picture. And I actually sent the picture to him, and he liked it, which was really cool. But uh, there's an, another story to this. Uh, somebody got a hold of my art uh, once I posted it online and paired it with uh, Disney's Moana and claimed that uh, this was a picture of the Disney prince slash love interest for Moana as a joke. But people bought it and they thought that it was actually a thing. So this picture went viral for a day <laughs> and I had people contacting me going, I didn't know you worked for Disney. And I had to go and, and correct them and say that this wasn't Disney, that somebody had actually used my artwork. But the people who borrowed my work came back and uh, proved
profusely apologized and gave me credit for it, which was the right thing to do. So that was fine. And, uh, you know, if my stuff is mistaken for Disney, I'm, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I had fun doing the uh, Tongan um, uh, patterning there on the uh, traditional garb. That was fun to do. And I did that in two different layers. and it's usually very instinctive for me to go to a lighter flesh tone. So I've been challenging myself to use darker flesh tones to create either a more tan look or a different ethnicity because my, uh, my ethnicity is very well represented and I think we need to see art featuring people of all colors, especially if they're as handsome as our friend from Tonga. I really enjoyed adding the shine. Uh, that was a fun challenge of using full white and then uh, blurring that out to create the shiny aspects uh, because he was definitely very greasy when he uh, did his Olympic walk. And uh, it was fun making sure I got all the detail work there. As you can see, I borrowed a uh, background from the Olympics so that So this next one is in the figure study group. Uh, this one is actually of a, a friend of mine who works in adult entertainment. <laughs> but he is a friend. His name is uh, Amp Summers. He's also known as Tyler Rush, if you wish to look him up. And uh, he did this selfie, which I thought was really cool. It's not what he's known for, this side, <laughs> and he would probably find that amusing, uh, but I just loved the perspective, and it fit well in the series that I'm doing, and uh, he really liked this uh, portrait as well, so he has posted it on his site, so if you check out his um, Tumblr, you'll see this picture and this video uh, done a little faster as well. It's interesting when you're doing um, more comic book style work because you want it to look like your subject, but it also has to have that uh, sort of comic book look to it. So you have to exaggerate, like I exaggerated the lips more on him than I would have if I was just doing a straight portrait. a very, a lot of the times, um, I wouldn't say it's a sarcastic expression, but he tends to uh, uh, have a wry look on his face, so I tried to capture that as much as possible. Again, I'm using the uh, dark burgundy to create the look. is very soothing.
the sides and long on top right now. I know it's sort of the fad, my beards, but um, and it gives you the best of both worlds. And again, it creates a double texture. So you have the long wavy on top and you have the short and bristly on the sides. is a really cool guy. He likes to do a lot of cosplay, so he has different uh, outfits. Like he'll go as a Link or um, one of the X-Men. I did a portrait of him as a um, Cyclops uh, for a thing, which was fun. And he's always been very gracious and and a real nerd. So he's been a treat to work with. working with pen because as you can see in a sketch I will uh, do broader strokes more of them to capture the shape I want but then once I ink it I can look at what I did broadly and then pick what I think is the best angle or line and put it together and I go adding the shading in what I do with that is I'll pull the original skin tone and then uh, darken it a couple notches so if it's still a uh, pink it's not black but uh, it gives the illusion of shadow or I blur it out add in my highlights he was uh, in the shower when he took this selfie so I toyed with So it looked like he's uh, standing in front of stone. You see the highlights and the shade. There's the shower. <laughs> and you can have a nice long look at him there. I really like how the uh, light and shadow played on this one. It turned out really well. So if you like this video, please give it a like. And let me know if there's other uh, subjects you want me to draw and talk about in the comments and of course i'd love it if you'd subscribe thanks so much